Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rig the eyes of a character. Uh, it's not that complicated, um, but you still have to be organized and do certain things to get it to work. In this rig, though, well, we're looking at uh, tweening and we're looking at also doing a little bit of uh, interpolation. So I will explain as we do. Uh, in this file, I had a blink. So he's blinking once. He moves his eyes side to side, blinks again, moves his eyes up and down and blinks again. Here, let me show you. On frame is a blink right here. Uh, 23, he blinks. You can see his eyes closed. And then he moves his eyes side to side and then he blinks again. Boom, right there on frame 61. And then he and then he looks down and up and then blinks again. Boom, there it is. And so uh, the motion, the motion of his eyes going back and forth is tweening. That's why they don't go outside the socket, uh, the eyeball. And then the, the motion of the, the pupils going up and down, uh, since they do go out, but they're masked, those are uh, interpolation. And we'll get all that done um, here in this video, and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to open recent the red shirt guy don't save uh, and as you can see um, I've got the blink here I've got everything in his face ready to get started and what I did here is I did some parenting I parented all the body so if I click on the body uh, the entire character should move and he, and he does Z and then if I parented the eyes to the head, there's the body, here's the head, and the eyeballs, eye pupils, and the eyes closed are all parented to the head. Uh, I don't want to remove the head, but there they are. If I move the head, the eyes go with the head. Now, why is that disappearing like that? I, I don't know. I think that's a glitch. But... If I rotate the head, you can see that the eyes go with the head. They're parented to the head. So anywhere I move the head, or in that case, the body, oops, in that case, the body, uh, you can see that the eyes go with it. So the eyes are parented to the head. The head is parented to the body. Not a big deal. I have a video that explains parenting. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see the blink, the eyes closed, uh, and the eyes open at the same time. So we're going to take care of that. The way I did the blink is that one of them is the opacity is 100% op opacity, and the other one is zero. So you're going to appear and reappear these objects. For example, at frame 20, I want my first blink. So at frame one, at frame one, I'm gonna bring this down. All right, at frame one, these eyes closed should be gone. So let's, uh, the opacity, turn it down to zero and keyframe it at frame one. That's the starting point. You shouldn't be able to see those. So at frame 20, at frame 20, uh, I want to re-establish that opacity, eyes closed, and re-key it. So nothing changes. I just need to re-establish that keyframe because it's going to change in one frame. So in at 21, now I'm working out 21, the opacity goes to 1 and key it oh it's already keyed because i've got auto keyframe turned on 
I need to reopen those eyes and I'm gonna do it in two frames. At 23, I want these gone. So they come in, they're gone, they come in just for a couple of frames and then they disappear. So going back to 20, I am going to select the pupils or let's say the eyeballs first. The eyeballs at frame 20 should be at one. Let's go ahead and key it at one. Fully visible, 100% opaque. At frame 21, they should be gone. Keyed, it's already keyed automatically. And at frame 23, we are going to bring those back. Bring those back. And it's already keyed. Now let's do it for the pupils. At frame 20, the pupils, we are going to make these pupils go away. At frame 20, we need to establish the opacity. We're good. At frame 21, they need to disappear. And at frame 23, reappear. 100%. There we go. And that's it. Guys, if I if I go all the way to, uh, first of all, let me deselect and then hit play. And we have our first blink. Again, play, we have our first blink. Not a big deal, right? We just animated the opacity on the eyes, the eyeball and the pupil and the, to be honest, and the uh, closed eye right there this one appears so it's the opposite one disappears the other one appears so that's that's cool that's easy um, now I'd like to animate the eyes going side to side and this is a tween animation I'm going to select the pupils and the pupils are both of them together they're together in one object so hit I location and there we have our uh, keyframe at 30. So if it takes about maybe five frames to look that way, I want to move them that way. I cannot move outside the eyeball, so I'm just gonna put it right at the edge. And that frame 35, since I have auto keyframe turned on automatically. So there's my first animation. I'm gonna take about 10 frames and move them all the way to here and then five frames and move them back to the center. So our pupils are now animated. Boom, and then boom, boom. There it goes. Now what I'd like to do is put another blink right there at 60. So I need to select these three. This is our blink at frame 20 copy and paste them over here Boop. and then go to my eyeballs copy these copy paste right at 60 and then go to my eyes closed copy these command c and then command v oh i, I turned off my screencast All right, so the eyes closed, copy and paste, and we're done. So we have two blinks now. Uh, I am going to deselect, hit play. He blinks, moves his eyes, and then blinks again. He blinks, moves his eyes, and blinks again. Now for the interpolation uh, animation. Um, I do have a mask set up for the pupils but that is inside of the pupils object. You can see that there's a mask here in the, in the layers. And if I do go into edit mode and I do select all of the objects, the iris, the pupil, and the highlight, all of them, and I move them, you can see that they're masked. Um, undo. 
but this requires a different type of animation. I cannot tween these because I am in edit mode. I can only tween objects, full objects, not stuff in edit mode. So what I need to do is reveal the dope sheet. Here it is. And uh, create a keyframe for the eye pupils in the dope sheet. So here at frame, let's say he blinks at frame 60. So at frame 70, he's going to look down, uh, just move him slightly to insert a keyframe. Uh, and at frame, let's say 75, he's going to be looking down at something. And then at frame 85, he's going to go look all the way up, maybe even further, all the way up. And then at frame 90, he's back to normal. Now, if you can see this, guys, I'm going to go back all the way back and play it. He blinks, he looks, and then he blinks. And then this is not animated. It just goes from one position, bloop, and to the other and then to the other. There's no animation in between them. So if I put my, my playhead between these two keyframes, remember, I am in edit mode. And we're not using tweening. We have created keyframes, but it's different than, uh, than animating the object. Here in edit mode, we're, at, we're animating components of this object. So we have to interpolate. So what do we interpolate? These keyframes up here, interpolate sequence. And then you can see it interpolates every single key, I mean frame, every single frame. And now we have a smooth motion. Let's do it between these two. Set my playhead be between these two keyframes. Interpolate sequence, and there it is. Put it between these two. Interpolate sequence, and there it is. So we've animated, guys the components of an object using the interpolation. I have a video that shows the difference between key, uh, frame by frame, tweening and interpolation, and you can check that one out as well. So we've done it. Um, we just need to maybe do another, uh, another blink over here at frame 100. Now we're going to animate the, uh, the object opacity I'm gonna copy these frames copy and paste them at, at uh, frame 100 that's for the pupils the eyeballs copy these and paste them and now the eyes closed copy these and then paste them and so now if I deselect everything oh go to object mode deselect everything I should be able to hit the play, blink, move, blink, move, and then blink. And that's it. Uh, let me stop it at like 120. End the animation at 120. Go all the way to the beginning. Again, let's, let's look at that again. Hit play, blink, move, blink, move, blink. That was it. Blink, tween, blink, interpolate, and then blink. Opacity, tween, opacity, interpolate. Uh, and that's it, guys. Uh, and if we move the head, just uh, as a cherry on top, if we move the head, let me uh, zoom out a bit. Uh, and since there's that glitch, I'm just going to rotate it over. Uh, let's say that at frame 10, we move it slightly just to create a keyframe. And at frame 40, he, he goes like this. At frame 70, he goes back. And so now, on top of everything, he's moving his head. So it'll be blink, and then there. 
Let me zoom out, show you the whole thing. Hey guys, that's it. If you like the video and you think it's been helpful to you, hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.